In this video, I would like to present to you the Civil FE Exam Study Planner with the new NCEES 2020 specifications. So I believe having a clear study plan is a primary factor as to whether someone passes or fails the FE exam. And this is why I've worked hard and have researched what people like and dislike in a study planner and have adapted that for the Civil FE exam. So here we can go down and look at what's in this planner. We know it's going to include all of the NCES topics, the new 2020 specifications. For example, we're looking at math and statistics here. It tells us we're going to have around 8 to 12 questions as listed by the NCES. And we know also there's a breakdown with specifically the math and statistics section in the pie chart. So it will take about 8% of your exam. So it's going to make up about 8% of the exam. Here it's just for math and statistics again. And you're also given some exam tips as you go through the study planner. And on the next page we're going to have a study checklist. So this is going to be important because these are the topics you must know for mathematics and statistics. So for the study checklist, you have to understand the theory and concept before you begin doing practice questions. So here you would essentially just check this off. If you feel like you've covered everything for analytic geometry, then after the theory and concept has been covered, you can move on to practice questions. So you will need to do as many practice questions as you can. And once you feel comfortable with this analytic geometry section, you can check that off. So also you have the other sections and for statistics, we're going to have these subsections, right? And you can also check these off for the theory and concept and cover plenty of practice questions. Then on the bottom here is just a big ones and areas to improve section. So here for the big ones, you might write, for example, an area you felt comfortable with. Let's say derivatives are understood. So you do not have to go back to this, right? Understood. And here to improve, you might write areas that you want to work on further, right? You want to go back to this. Let's say for statistics, you have no idea what happened with this confidence intervals section. So you're like, I'm completely lost here. So you would write, I need to work on this. So this is an area that you need to improve and you have that written down as a note and you can come back to this for example for confidence intervals under statistics so that's that page then on the next page is a equation sheet so here you can write any equations that are not in the reference handbook or you can write those that are in the reference handbook and ones you just want to have handy right so you want to refer to this equation sheet and write down any equations that you feel like you need to know and you need to essentially memorize to save time on the actual FE exam. So for example, let's say we're looking at conic sections for analytic geometry. We have conic sections. You can write equations, you can write notes. Let's say we want to define the eccentricity values. So you can write the definition for eccentricity. So here eccentricity, which is lowercase e, and it's going to refer to these conic sections, right? And this is defined as uh, the amount a conic section deviates from being perfectly circular. So you can write definitions here, you can write notes, and so on. So you can write that here on the equation sheet. And for example, let's say we're looking at parabolas, the conic section of uh, parabola. And you want to write the E value. The E value for that is always going to be what? 1. And let's say we're looking at ellipses. Ellipse. And you write the E value. What's the E value for that? The E value is always less than 1. 
and we know for hyperbola hyperbola we can write the e value here e values greater than one and lastly to finish this off a circle you can write the e value and for that it will be zero so here's just the equation sheet or a no sheet sheet that you can use for the mathematics and statistics and at the bottom you have some inspirational quotes to keep you motivated and keep you on track so these are some motivational famous quotes at the bottom of this equation sheet and lastly the most important part here is the schedule right your weekly schedule how is this going to be set up so this depends on you but let's say we're starting next month september 1st we write the month september and we write the week number obviously it's going to be week number one and let's say on monday you want to begin doing analytic geometry right so it's all up to you let's say we want to begin from the top and move down we begin analytic geometry so on monday you write for example after work so let's say you get off at 5 after work. You want to study, for example, let's say 1 hour. And you can be very specific here. You want to start at a specific time and write down your time as well. But let's say we just write that you want to study for 1 hour and you want to cover analytic geometry. That section specifically and anything relating to that and what you want to do there is write what you want to cover for analytic geometry so we know this includes trig this might include the conic sections and we can also look at the volumes and so on so you just want to look at this analytic geometry and know what you need to cover there so also you will probably write down what you want to study right what material are you using right so here you would maybe write cover course so let's say you are in an online course or the free courseria course you can use that as a note for monday so begin that and look at analytic geometry then you probably want to say hey i want to do practice questions let's say do let's say for example 10 practice questions for monday 10 practice questions so this is your goal for monday and that's what you have written down there then for tuesday based on what you did on monday you put on tuesday right you finish it off on tuesday let's say on monday we did not finish these 10 practice questions so on tuesday same thing you do after work after work and let's say you want to study now for two hours two hours and here what you want to do for example maybe you want to go to the cafe now so you go to the cafe and what you write here is finish that should be your first goal here is to finish the 10 practice questions that you did not completely finish on Monday right so these carry on to Tuesday then what you might write is we're done with analytic geometry if you feel that you are done indeed you probably need more time so this is just an example of how you might use this you might want to move on to single variable calculus and write that down as something you want to cover single variable calc and you want to cover that you want to do integrals derivatives and so on and then you might say you need to cover the course and same thing and do practice questions right so you go day by day and this is why i feel like a weekly schedule planner makes a lot more sense than one that's monthly right because when you're studying for an exam 
at the type of exam that's this, which is the FE exam, you want to go on a weekly basis. And most importantly, you want to look at the previous day and ask yourself, what was my weakness? What did I not understand? What concept and what practice questions do I need to redo and completely understand to move on to the next section? Let's say for analog geometry, before you move on to what? Let's say we're moving on to single variable calculus. You want to just make sure you completely understand the theory and concept and the practice problems you attempted. Then you can check these off and move on to step two for single variable calculus. So this is what you can do here and go on day to day basis using this weekly schedule planner. And then at the bottom for the notes section at the end of the week, you would probably need to write what you need to spend more time covering and what you need to understand maybe the difference in distributions normal or t distribution so that's just a notes note, note section at the end of the week and for example let's say you did not want to study on sundays you would just check this completely mark that off on sundays just to take a break right so that's that and you'll have plenty of space for this weekly schedule planner you'll have three weeks essentially for these sections. So it's the same for all the other sections, ethic and professional practice. You get the percentage, the approximate number of questions, uh, exam tip, you get the ch study checklist, big wins to improve, equation sheet, some inspiration down here to keep you motivated, and again, a weekly schedule planner. So this is only two weeks because it's just ethics, right? You're not having to go through a lot it's mostly reading and understanding what you read so that's for the ethics and same thing for all the other sections right let's say for econ same thing right for the civil fe exam so to purchase the civil fe study planner you can follow the link in the description and this is the best way to support what i do for this channel and continue pr to produce more content so you don't have to buy it if you don't need a study planner, but just know it's there for you to help you pass this FE exam. So that's all for this video and I really hope this civil FE study planner helps you prepare and pass your FE exam. Take care.